This is the Global Medical News Network, and I'm Bob Finn, reporting from the World Conference on Lung Cancer in San Francisco. A new device can identify lung cancer cells and sputum samples with near-perfect accuracy. It's long been known that lung cancer cells appear in sputum samples, but using this fact for diagnosis depends on making the process fast, automatic, and accurate. Enter a company called VisionGate, based in Washington State. They have developed the lung cell evaluation device, Lucid. This device makes a 3D image of cells in sputum and uses their physical characteristics to discriminate cancerous cells from normal ones. This, for example, is a squamous cell, a fact the device can establish by calculating the volume of the cytoplasm, the volume of the nucleus, and the distribution of chromatin. And what we found is that by processing a thousand cells, we can get very close to 100% accuracy for normal sputum and about 90% accuracy on sputum with cancer cells. So what this does is to remove um, from uh, further diagnostic workup on um, those patients which are clearly normal. So uh, on the other hand, if um, precancer is indicated by Lucid, um, this would trigger increased uh, surveillance, which could mean any number of different things depending upon what was found in the diagnostic workup. With Lucid, I think we have uh, a system that uh, um, can uh, match any cell diagnostic standard. Um, it's a extremely uh, valuable technique uh, that can be used uh, in many applications. Um, for lung cancer screening, um, our goal is to um, uh, detect rare, rarely occurring cells in sputum um, to provide critical information for clinical follow-up. It is uh, available as a research instrument today in academic centers. There is a, uh, an approval that is being sought for next year and anticipated for a non-cancer indication. So it's evaluation for a specific cell, a macrophage, uh, for reflux disease. So we expect the device will be approved and be able to uh, go into clinical laboratories around the country. And then the lung cancer indication is uh, targeted for two years. Dr. Honigsberg told me that this device may even find use in widespread screening of at-risk populations in primary care. For the Global Medical News Network, I'm Bob Finn.